What's up everybody, my name is Jordan, AKA DJ Jordan Nelson. This is the Phase Reviews YouTube channel, and if you're new, thank you for joining me, and if you're a subscriber, welcome back. I have a pair of the brand new American Audio APX CS8 column speakers for review today. These are not just DJ speakers, they're gonna have a variety of applications for home or personal use, but mobile entertainers are going to love these. They come in at an insanely affordable $229 price point. I've never seen portable column speaker arrays at this price point, and I think they're gonna be a great value for DJs, but the question is, are they any good? So in this video today, I'm gonna talk about all the features, I'm gonna do a full unboxing, and I'm gonna tell you what applications I think these are best for. I'm gonna give you a sound demo so you can kind of hear them for yourself and let you know if I think they're worth picking up. Now, this is not the original intro I had filmed for this video. I put a ton of time into setting up everything in my living room, had a whole filming area ready to go, and I unboxed one of these speakers from scratch just so you guys could see how it comes to you in the mail. I made the unfortunate error of not really realizing my camera had been put into macro image mode. And so this footage is not the HD quality that you come to expect from this channel. It's kind of grainy, it's kind of noisy. There's a glare on my glasses. I was in such a hurry to get this out to you that uh, I did not check the footage on a screen that wasn't the camera's tiny built-in screen. So I'm gonna apologize up front. I wrestled with myself about whether I should reshoot this, but ultimately decided that I wanted to get this video out as soon as possible. I'm gonna shoot another video of these in the future, much more HD quality, but in this video, you're still gonna get a full unboxing. You're gonna get specs. You're gonna get my thoughts on these. You're gonna be able to hear them, and uh, I'll let you know if I think they're worth picking up. But I promise you, in the future, we're gonna get a higher quality HD video, just like this intro, and uh, it will serve you a little bit better. But thanks so much for being here and watching this. I hope you can uh, become a subscriber if you're not already. I can earn your subscription by the end of this video. But enough about that. Let's dive into this review, and again, forgive me for how the following footage is gonna look, but focus on the content. I think you're gonna like it. So while I start to unbox this, let's talk a little bit about American Audio as a company. They're a sister company of ADJ Lighting, very well-known lighting company in the mobile DJ sphere. And American Audio has made budget audio products for quite a while. I owned the ELS GO 8BT, which was an eight inch battery powered speaker. It didn't really do it for me. It had a lot of background kind of white noise, noise floor. But then they came out with the APX-12 GO BT back during the pandemic. It was a 12 inch battery powered speaker. It had wheels, it had an extendable handle, it had a built in wireless microphone. You can see my review somewhere up here at the top. And I thought it was a great speaker. It had a lot of value for a very affordable price. And this APX CS8 is kind of a continuation of that. I think American Audio are turning a company, uh, turning a corner, excuse me, as an audio company, starting to make products that are unique and at a certain price point that's very attainable for anyone. And this uh, APX CSA is a perfect example of that. Like I mentioned, it's a $229 column speaker, which is insanely low price. You can go buy a budget, like off-brand PA speaker from Costco for that price. So really the average person could buy one of these. And so we wanna know, is this gonna be any use for the working mobile DJ? Whether you're an experienced person or a new uh, DJ, brand new, buying their first set of speakers, is this a good option, okay? So I'm gonna start unboxing this um, and talk about a few specs, okay? Now, specs to keep in mind when it comes to speakers are gonna be the drivers, the frequency, the extension uh, and the power. Now, these, uh, a column system, if you don't know, has a low end, kind of like a subwoofer, although it's only an eight inch driver in these uh, APX CS8, and that sits on the floor, it's powered, and above it is a column of speakers that plug into the base unit with some built-in uh, mid and high frequency drivers. And this has a few different advantages. It's obviously a great looking aesthetic. The base couples to the floor for kind of an increased uh, low end response. And then you also get a good wide dispersion pattern with these. So a lot of benefits to a column speaker. Now the eight inch driver in this is not gonna give you that chest thumping, huge party bass that you're looking for, but it's enough to offer you a nice full sound. In the top, you have four two and a half inch mid-range slash high-range drivers. Uh, there's two spacers in the column, which I'll show you in just a minute. And uh, all in all, it's got a pretty full range response, although the extension is not that low. Now, the spec that everyone is talking about is the power. 
It's rated at 100 watts, and Brian S. Red beat me to making a video on these speakers, but he did a great overview of why watts aren't important for speaker volume. You can check out his video. Uh, just search Brian S. Red American uh, Audio Column Speaker. But in essence, we care more about the DB SPL rating. Decibels is the rating of loudness. Uh, it's also reported as SPL sound pressure level. And on these guys, it comes in at 108 dB. And it's not gonna be as loud as a standard PA speaker or as a speaker that costs two, three, four, or five times as much. But 108 decibels is perfect for someone throwing a house party. It's perfect if you're a musician doing like a coffee shop gig or you just need the speaker for background music or fill at a wedding ceremony or cocktail hour, okay? Here's the base unit right here. Now, just to give you some comparisons for the specs, 108 dB uh, is decent. The standard, I would say like mid entry level, regular PA speakers, probably in the 120s. Uh, as you go higher in like the price range, like an EV, like EKX or ETX, those are gonna be in the 130s probably for output. And dB is logarithmic, so every 10 dB is about a doubling in sound, okay? So 108 compared to like 128 is a pretty noticeable difference. Again though, 108 dB, like if you're close to the speaker is gonna be enough to make your ears hurt. So uh, there's a good amount of volume, just don't try and push these beyond what they're rated for. Now, this is the base right here. This is a plastic construction. It's very lightweight. That's another benefit to this system. Um, but it feels really sturdy. This plastic is not gonna scratch and look ugly very easily. It's like a very robust uh, plastic. You've got a handle on top. You've got no handles on the sides. This is the grill on the front. Really good design. Got an angled uh, grill, kind of points towards the front. The logo is right here at the bottom. Uh, wide enough base to be solid. This is where you're gonna plug in your column unit. I'm gonna show you a close up of the back in a minute to kind of talk about that. But that's the base unit. I think the weight for this system, let me kind of read you some specs uh, quick while I've got this. The weight for this whole thing is 37 and a half pounds. Very, very easy to carry. Um, it is 13 inches by 13 inches, 13.75 uh, by 73 inches tall. So just a touch over six feet, which is pretty standard for systems like this. Okay, so here's the base. There are three column portions. Let me kind of pull these out of this box. I've got one set up right here. I left the other one in the box so that we could uh, do a unboxing for you. This is one of the spacers. There's no grill on the front. It has a connector on the bottom and the top. Slot that in. Here is another one of those. This is one of the connector pieces. These connectors that don't have speakers in them are very uh, are very lightweight. Okay, and now this is out of the uh, shot of the video, but let me pull up the speaker portion. This one's obviously a little bit heavier. Okay, it's got the uh, same really sleek design with the angled grill here in the front. All right, I'm gonna throw it in the box. That's everything that's in this cardboard box. This is a little bit heavier than these. Now, one of the things with these column systems, which is possible with the APX CSA, is you can use just the speaker portion without the spacer. Obviously, this would be very short if it was on the ground, but if this was sitting on a stage and you didn't want the speaker to be like 10 feet above the heads of the crowd, you can just use this by itself in the base, or you can use a single spacer or two spacers, whatever works for your application. So I'm gonna set those down right here. Also inside the box, let me grab it for you. Um, we've got our user manual, okay? ADJ, I guess American Audio is a US-based company. The manual is well written in English. There's honestly not a lot to explain here besides like the MP3 unit in the back, which we're gonna talk about. And then they of course include an IEC power lead, uh, probably three, three feet or so. So pretty standard there. And that's what's included in the box. You got your base, two spacers with the speaker top part, a manual, and an extension cord. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna give you some close-up shots of the back of this speaker as I kind of explain it and take a look at it myself. So one of the things that's unique about American Audio products is that they have this built-in MP3 slash Bluetooth player, okay? So a lot of us, have our main outs from our DJ mixer or our soundboard or whatever we're using. But in a pinch, if you need a backup, they have this really nice integrated media player. It has an SD card slot, it has a USB slot, and it has a MP3 player that plays Bluetooth from your phone. And specifically with these, this has true wireless stereo Bluetooth. So you can actually wirelessly link a pair of these and get a stereo Bluetooth image uh, without any wires, which is pretty cool. The built-in player has play, fast 
fast forward, reverse, a mode button to switch between the different modes. It's very simple to use. And honestly, of all the American Audio products I've used, this has always been a very flawless feature, no issues at all. Now below the MP3 section, you have two inputs that are either quarter inch or XLR. They have a switchable mic line. So either the quarter inch or the XLR, both can be mic or line. They have a volume control or a level control, as well as an effect. And that's just for a little bit of reverb. If you want to add some to like a microphone channel, you can just use the single knob to dial in uh, some reverb for that. To the right of that is an auxiliary in, so it's just like a uh, eighth inch uh, tip ring sleeve kind of input for your mp3 player or just your backup audio source that also has an aux versus mp3 button right above it this was kind of hidden for me if you plug something into that and nothing's playing hit that switch so it changes from the built-in media player to the aux input that also has its own level control and right above that is a power and a limit light so you can tell first if the unit's on and second if you are clipping the speaker or hitting the limiter so that you don't damage your speaker now to the far right there is a master volume knob as well as a knob labeled music bass boost and speech and this is kind of a one knob equalizer if you turn it all the way to the left it sucks out all of the low end and if you turn it all the way to the right it adds a bunch of bass to the low end now for music playback which is what I'm using this for I kind of put it at about the one or two o'clock position is that a touch of bass boost not too much and that seemed to sound the best to me now I'm gonna give you a sound demo in just a moment but first impressions with this is that for a $229 portable column array speaker, the sound is great. It's more than enough. If you're using this for speaking engagements, uh, especially it sounds good. And for kind of lighter background music, it sounds good. It sounds great with instrumental stuff. Now with heavily compressed hip hop EDM, uh, there is, I don't know, something is missing in the sound. I think it's probably just the crossover between the two and a half inch drivers and the eight inch sub. The middle is like dropped down a little bit. There's kind of a a dip in the middle. I don't know what frequency it's at. Honestly, I'm not an audio engineer, but it definitely doesn't sound like as good as an $800 speaker, but that's to be expected. But this is going to be more than passable for the vast majority of users. Okay. If you use this, what it's intended for ceremony, background music, cocktail music, uh, singer, songwriter, stuff like that no issues with the sound at all. Now sound demo coming up in just a moment. Now using the speaker's piece of cake, plug it in, put your columns on, you can be set up in just a few seconds. Um, I'm gonna give you guys a sound demo and I'm gonna do it with the Bluetooth True Wireless hooked up. There's a button dedicated for this, so I'm gonna power on one, link it to the other speaker, and then link it to my phone. And I'm gonna play you some tracks from the YouTube audio library so you can get a demo of the audio. All right, now take that with a grain of salt. YouTube audio demos are never perfect. By the time it goes through my mic and camera and audio so or video software, up to YouTube, compressed, out your speakers. It won't be an exact representation of what the speakers sound like, but hopefully you can at least get the feel that these speakers have a full sound for their small compact size, and it's definitely got enough clarity for uh, lightweight background type uses. Now, in summary, I mean, I love these things. I'm blown away that American Audio can produce a column speaker for this price and that it doesn't sound half 
bad. Now, I did notice with my testing, they sounded better with break-in. Now, there's a lot of audiophile snake oil out there, but I do think break-in is a true principle. I let these play some loud music for a few hours, and it definitely warmed up. It wasn't as tinny, it wasn't as high. Uh, the sound quality improved immensely in my mind. So, if they don't sound quite right out of the box, let them run for a few hours, play some tunes through them. The drivers are probably just really pristine from the factory. It made a difference in my mind. It may just be placebo effect, but I thought they sounded good. Um, I totally recommend these products. If you've never tried columns, this is a great entry into it. If you need a backup system or you need a fill speaker or you need a speaker uh, to extend your setup into another room, this is gonna be great for that. It's not a do-all speaker. It's probably not a main speaker but it has the value and the potential to be a real workhorse for the mobile DJ. So if you wanna pick one of these up, of course, go to uh, American Audio's website, your favorite gear retailer, buy through them, support them right now. Uh, Add this to your arsenal. I think it's worth the pickup. And thank you so much for watching this channel. Uh, I'm grateful you're here. If you're not a subscriber, please consider becoming one. It helps the channel grow. Hopefully you enjoyed this review. Leave your comments if there's something I missed. In the future, I own the Avante AS8, also an American DJ sister company. Little bit more expensive of a column array, but still budget. Do you want me to compare it to this uh, American Audio CPX AS8? If so, let me know down in the comments and maybe we can do that video next. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.